Hey everybody, welcome in. In this video, I am going to create a dodecahedron. I know you're like, what did you just call me? Those are fighting words. Um, so a dodecahedron is basically, it's a 12-sided solid where every side is a pentagon, right? And then all the sides of the pentagon are equal length. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. There's many different ways that you could probably go about doing this in Inventor. But I'm going to show you one way that I found, which is doesn't take too long. Is is you could probably impress your friends, like they're going to think you spent you know days and days and weeks on it, and months, maybe even a year. You'd be like, yeah, but you know what? I I persevered and finally finished it. Anyway, I'll stop talking and let's get to let's get down to some action. So I'm going to go to new, new. I'm going to go to metric standard millimeters. I'm going to click on the create button. I'm going to start a 2D sketch. I'm going to use the XZ plane here. And then I want to rotate my view cube. I click on this left arrow here so that now the top reads kind of the way it should. I'm going to then go up to rectangle. I want to go all the way down to select the polygon option. I want to change the number of sides from six or whatever yours might say to five. And then I'm gonna use the inscribed option here. I don't think it matters, but I'm gonna go with this inscribed one. I'm gonna start my shape by clicking the center green dot and just kind of drag it out. And it doesn't really matter what orientation or size for this particular moment in time, because we're gonna fix this in just a minute. So I'm gonna click there to kind of place my, my shape. And I'm gonna click on the done button. And now I'm going to go up to the vertical constraint option. I'm going to click this left side line just to make that vertical right there. I want to dimension that line. That's going to be um, 10. Got it way too big, so I'm going to zoom in. You can make that whatever size you want. Just remember which one, which what you chose. All right, so then. I'm gonna create some construction lines. So under format here, I'm gonna click on the construction button. And I'm gonna draw a square using the two point rectangle option. I'm gonna start my square on this center dot. Just kind of click it and then drag up into the left. I'm gonna drag way out because it's easier to change things in a minute. So just random randomly click a spot where your square goes, you know, on this top left quadrant. And then what I want to do is I'm going to use the equal constraint. So I'm going to select the top line, the side, that way it forces that to become a square. And then I'm going to use the um, coincident constraint. I'm going to look for the midpoint of this construction line at the bottom. So click that green dot, which is the midpoint. And then I'm going to select anywhere on this line here so that the midpoint of that line kind of locks into this vertical line of our of our pentagon. So that's that. And then I want to create one more construction line from this top left corner here to the midpoint where we put that. And then I want to add, I'm going to right click, hit OK. I want to add some dimensions on here. I know we're fully constrained already but these are kind of important. So I'm going to click on my dimension. I'm going to click this left construction line, click this right um, pointy side over here. I'm going to drag it up. It's going to say we're over constrained. I'm going to say I'm going to accept it anyway. And then I want to add another dimension. So dimension this angle here. So this line, this vertical line, I'm going to drag it up. It's going to say it's, it's going to over constrain it. We're going to accept it anyway. Um, so there's that's that's pretty the hard work we got done right there. I want to show you if you come up to the top and you see that little fancy F and the X, that's the parameters kind of dialog box here. So you can kind of see as we create dimensions, it kind of numbers those dimensions. So we started off with, I don't know why they start off with dimension zero, but the first dimension that we placed on there was this 
10 millimeter dimension. So that is what is in the equation here. And then D1 is going to be, that's the second dimension that we place, right? So it depends on which order you place these. And that, that D1 is going to be this distance here. And then D2 is going to be this angle that we added. So um, make sure that I remember those because we're going we're gonna to use these later. I just want to kind of show you where those these numbers come from that I'm going to add into the, the next sketch that we're going to do. So I'm going to click Done here. I'm going to finish my sketch. And then I'm going to go up to Extrude. So for the height of my extrusion, I want it to be the same number as the, the distance here that we added. So instead of typing in like 22.27, or instead of clicking on here, I'm just gonna, in the distance A, I'm gonna type in D1. And then for the taper, taper A, that's gonna be the same um, angle as the one that we, we dimensioned over here. So that's gonna be dimension two or D2. And then I'm gonna hit the okay. So that's kind of like one half of our of our dodecahedron. So then what we want to do is I'm going to start another sketch on this top plane. I'm going to rotate this back around. So it reads top like that. I'm going to create another polygon or pentagon. Make sure it has some five sides. I'm going to select the center and kind of drag it out. Um, I'm going to try to make it to where the line on the right is kind of straight up and down. Doesn't have to be exact. I'm gonna click done. And then I want to use my vertical constraint. Select this line on the right this time. Straighten that up for the dimension. That's gonna be, that's gonna be um, D0, which was the, the 10 that we used to create that first dimension. Like so. Okay, then let's see. Um, I'm going to Finish my sketch. I want to extrude this, but I'm going to use the, the intersect option. I want for the distance here, I want this to be, that's going to be D1. And that's going to go all the way through. And we're going to, for the taper, that's going to be D2. Now you kind of see it come to, sh come to, come to shape or come to uh, whatever, anyway. So we're gonna go through all, I don't know where I was gonna go with that. So through all, through all, yeah, make sure through all is da, 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 like that. So there is our, that is basically our completed dodecahedron. So this is, every side is a pentagon, all these sides are the same um, length. In our case, they're all 10. So if I went up to like tools, measure, I click a line, you can see it's 10 millimeters. Uh, click another one, 10 millimeters. Yeah, so all of those are the same. What I wanna do here is I'm gonna go to view. Um, I like shaded with edges so I can kind of see the edges stand out. You can go to shadows, reflections, change the lighting, sharp highlights. Yeah, yeah, whichever way you want, I don't know. So if I want this to kind of look like that, I would, I would, um, let's see, I'm gonna right click, set current view as home, fit to view. This would be, if I click the right here and just right click and make that my set current view as front. Now when I select this, that still threw my shadow on the other side, anyway. Whatever, um, be that way. Uh, I want to, I can, you can change the shadows direction, um, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna put it on light red. I don't know why you get that shiny thing. Maybe not. Maybe it's kind of real shiny on that one side. Let me put this thing on uh, smooth, off white. That looks better. All right, so there, I'm gonna save this as Dodecahedron. I've created, I've created a few of these already. So I'm gonna save it as dodecahedron. 
I'll save over any ones that I've already created. Save, yes, I wanna replace it. All right, so anyway, there's how you can create that. Probably a little bit less stressful than what people assume, because if you look at that, you're like, holy cow, how am I gonna create that? But that was pretty easy, right? So um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. I hope that was helpful and hope to see y'all back. All right, peace.